All right, Grip TV Nation, here we go. My name is Matt Malone, and look at what we got today. This is the VRS, Virtual Racing School, VRS Direct Force oh, Pro. Ooh, woof, woof. And this is my very first race ever with it. 20 Newton meters. Is that what it is? Direct drive. Oh, Midge. Late night racer. Thank you so much, man. Four months. Appreciate it. So I got the settings uh, kind of where I want it, you know? We'll see how this goes. But uh, a little bit smaller rim than I'm used to. VRS is lending me this equipment. See if I can't test it out, you know? I said, okay, I'll test it out at 50 frames a second. We're at Mid-Ohio. This is IMSA. I'm in the Ferrari. And uh, away we go. Inaugural. Direct drive race. Hope it doesn't end with me just punting someone. Chances are pretty high, though. Number eight car. I got a chance. Oh, I qualified 11th with a number eight. Oh, we're fine, guys. Inaugural. I can't say that word. Hello, YouTube. Shout out to YouTube. There will be much more to come as far as this uh, wheel goes. I'm going to make a review video, guys. Remember when I made a review video of the... Uh, CSL from Fnatic. That was great. Review videos. Well, just in general, making an actual video for YouTube is is hard work. That's why I just stream. Much easier. <laughs> hey, checkers. There you go. That's really good, dude. Uh, so, um... I have some experience with direct drive wheels. My trip to Germany where I was able to try out the new Fnatic direct drive wheel. And now I'm trying this. It's an early, uh, I don't know if, I, would, I, I guess I wouldn't consider it a prototype, but it's an early version of the VRS direct drive. Malone to the inside. It's very direct drivey. That's a very good. That's a very good way of putting it. Yes, it feels very much like I'm using a direct drive wheel. That's what I would say. <laughs> I don't have my spotter on, lol. Just the text, I guess. Clear. That's an overtake. First overtake with a direct drive wheel, and then tell you the truth, it felt magical. Oh 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 oh. I'm in perfectly, I'm in, I'm in control of the vehicle. I can feel every, every bump. I'm in tune with it. I feel one with the Ferrari. This guy's feeling one with the grass. <laughs> oh. Is this Sailor? Oh, this is Jasper. I love you. That's Jess Baroni in front of me, guys. We know him. Oh, it's Dr. Licker. Direct drive to the inside. He's faster than me. I'm not going to try anything. Give him a little love tap. But um, I, I, I'm a type of person that doesn't run too high of force feedback. I'm more interested in the resolution, the detail, fidelity. You know, feeling everything. You know, I don't. I, I, I'm not trying to get a workout here or anything, but so I got it. I got it set a little bit higher than I usually would. But if I had my version two set to this, first of all, I don't even think it could. Well, yeah, I could probably get this. I could probably get this strength, the force feedback, going with my fanatic one. But I would be clipping almost the entire time in the uh, force feedback on the right hand side of your screen, little F bar. I'd be clipping a lot if it was set this strong. And this thing is not even close. I mean, the way the future's going, direct drive is, if, you, if you're racing four to five times a week, and you're, you know, you're somebody with that type of budget, I mean, there's no reason why you wouldn't go direct drive just gives you the range you need. Oh! 
Direct drive high. How's work being led? Hey, Modulus. Thanks, buddy. How's work been? Oh, God. Freaking rain out every day. Should have came back till next week. Oh, that guy's having issues. Yeah. I'm actually doing really good and talking. This is amazing. But yeah, it feels good. It feels like there's... It's just giving you all the information. And it's like not even trying hard. I mean, it's... I got it set pretty strong. Like, everything is instant, too. There's no lag with the detail coming through. But this is just super initial thoughts, guys. I wouldn't take anything I say. Take it with a grain of salt. Not getting really good frames on this track. Yeah, the uh, rim on this, you can put any rim you want on these motors, obviously, but the rim that they supplied me with, a little bit smaller than I'm used to, but I don't know, kinda like it. It's very direct drivey, yes. So, there will be a future full-length actual YouTube video. It'll be shot on my Canon. Can't wait to use my Canon camera to do it. <laughs> um, but yeah. Let's try to keep up with Jess Baroni here at least. Oh, is he gonna punt that guy? Porsche versus Beamer versus Ferrari. Who will win? Who will finish the race with broken thumbs? Ding, 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 ding. And he takes that wide. How does he put a tire on off there? Woo, the wheel wiggle, baby. Yeah, it's a big difference for sure. Needs that big ass. Oh no! Jess Peroni, what are you doing? Eh, that's unfortunate. The Beamer got the uh, <laughs> reverse mind punch thing going. He was too aggressive. Who do you think? You think Jess Brony was too I aggressive? I am sorry, Jess Oh, it was his fault. It's never the streamer's fault, right? My turn. Oh, my spider's off. Uh, the voice is all the way down. For whatever reason. I think the last time is because I raced NIS, I had a live spider. But yeah, it's really amazing huh? what kind of, uh... It's, I mean, this is... It, it, it's a game controller. It's, and it's just massive motor. I mean, it's not, it's not big, but... I mean, think about what we're using nowadays for just sim racing. It's crazy. You gotta, like, bolt it down. It's gotta be on something really secure. So much different than um, the little plastic stuff they used to make back in the day and we'd freak out over. I mean, we're talking actual motors. I don't know, third gear might be good here. I doubt it though. I just need to carry more speed. Hey, he's hitting cones! Uncle Rico, what's up, buddy? Oh. Another month down the drain. Hope Vegas was fun. Now Ugh. I have to get a, a direct drive to keep up with the Malone. Oh, geez. Well, I remember, I'm just testing it. I'm renting it. I got. After I, uh. Send it through the ringer. I do have to send it back. Just testing it out. Early uh, release equipment here. You know, I, I mean, uh, you know, for the you know final release. You know, they, you know, who knows what they'll change? You know, different software, different type of hardware. You know, who knows? So, can't really say. This is a. Uh, what the final product would be, but if it is, not complaining. Big Gunner, good to see you, buddy. Whew. Yeah, the way it snaps and the way it 
it's just it's 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 reacting so fast like sometimes you with other wheels you it's not like a delay or a lag it's just kind of like it takes a while for the power to come in like you can feel it right away usually like you can tell it's trying to tell you certain things the car's doing but it's not it's just not really fast with it and sh is strong this is like boom it's like you hit the curb you hit the curb the the the, the car's fighting you, it's fighting you immediately, like full force. There's no, it, it just seems like it's not even trying very hard. It's like, yeah, what else can you throw at me, you know? Which is great. Like, you don't want to be maxing out your equipment all the time. Only in the bedroom, fellas, only in the bedroom. <laughs> Stuff like that, you can just, you just take it. Like, I'll just, you can feel exactly what it wants you to do. Less input lag. Yeah, I wouldn't consider it input lag with the other wheels. It's more just like, just it, str it struggles a little bit to bring the force on. This is like, it just gives you the full force of whatever it needs right away. There's no, uh, input lag's a little different. You follow, you guys get it, okay. Let me, let me say it the same exact way four more times. Oh! The save! <laughs> oh, man. If that's not a ringing endorsement, I don't know what is. No, we're just testing out. I don't have any opinions on it yet. All I can say is it's a direct drive wheel. Um, you know, it, it's... There's no getting around the, the motor. It's sitting right here, you know? So, yeah, it, it steps up to that, that direct drive quality level you, you would expect. I better back my brake bias down a little bit. But uh, yeah, and like I say, I can really only compare it to the Fnatic DD1. And it's just right off the bat, it's very similar. Very similar to the feel that I had when I went to Germany to try that out. We gotta catch back up. Slow, slow. I'm holding on to a shaft. Yes. All right. Any idea how much it'll cost? I think on the website they say $1,000. I think that's a very early price point. All I know is it'll be very competitively priced. Uh, no, Blessy, no. Won't won't solve your thunderfoot though. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, too bad, huh? So yeah, once I'm able to test it out for a while, try some different settings. Right now I have it on no dampening and no smoothness. 80% force on the software. And um, in game. I don't have the screen up, but it's like, you know, pretty kind of low. Not again. I'm in eighth place with the number Thank eight card. Amazing. So it does have a little controller oh, box man. about it, the size of like a, I don't know, a small, DVD player. Um, easy to hook up, easy to install on my 8020 rig. It came with just a little bit of software. You can can't mess with too much of it, but everything. I'm sure some things are a work in progress. But I don't, I don't like super, um, I was a little afraid of the of the software. I, I'd rather have my software super simple, like 
some of the stuff I've seen in direct drive wheels where you gotta have like, hey, this, these guys are having fun. You gotta have like all these programs running and all these different settings and it's like, I don't know, just give me default. Pass left, oh, okay, do that. Good thing I get around in there for you, it's hard on the brakes. It is going to be a workout. I wouldn't usually run it this high of force, force, but I mean, it does feel good. I don't know if like if you're streaming for like four hours or five hours and you're doing a bunch of races, like, like I say, I usually run a lower force feedback. Because it seems like, I don't know if I'm talking out of my ass or anything, but I didn't really mess around too much with my force feedback on my other wheel, but Seems like the sh you know the stronger you put the wheel at with the other ones, the less detail you get, and it's just based on strength. It's like, uh. and if I did put my force feedback up too high on my old one, it, it it would just clip out, and then you're not getting the detail, right? You want the you want to feel all the little bumps and the you know just because the wheel's fighting you, it doesn't really. That's it's like okay, well that's some information that's kind of useful, but. I'd much rather feel the curbs, feel when the car gets loose, feel the dimples in the road. Now that's what I'm looking for. And that's not based on just strong force feedback, that's, that's based on the response time and the quick actions the wheel's giving you. Yeah, feel the wall hits, the 4Xs, yeah, the cones, no. I'm racing both these guys up here. Let's try to get them. I have no way of putting my time delta on the screen, so sorry about that. Just assume every lap is faster than the next. Hit a wall, 20 newton meters. <laughs> when do we have to pit? I don't know. Uh, you gotta get to the apex real early there. Hey, Irish crew. Pretty rainy. Had some days off already. Yesterday I had the day off, so I hooked this thing up. Took a nap on the couch. It was very important. Um, yeah, I hooked this all up. Oh gosh, and then we, um, we bit the bullet, or I did. I bit the bullet and signed up to HBO so we could start watching Game of Thrones. It's $14 a month. I'm like, well, I'm like, we might be able to get through it in two months, you know? So we watched a couple episodes last night. We've already seen like a couple seasons, but. It's pretty much like a soap opera for men. I can do 15 more laps still before I pit. That's amazing. Skyrockets in flight. Woo! Afternoon delight. Whoop. Uh, Mr. Fisher gifting a sub. Uh, Her Herzed. Thank you, man. Yeah, these motors. Yeah, people aren't making these. They they source the motor, and then it's the control box and the software and the firmware that's important. And 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 and, and, and you know, a package deal. You know what else comes in? It's important is customer service. You know.
It's like you can you can go buy one of these motors all you want, right? But what are you gonna do with it? How how are you gonna get this motor to talk to iRacing, to talk to do what you want it to do? You can buy one of these motors and have it freaking run uh, you know, like you could put together your own assembly line and this thing could be turning the line for you. You know, it's just it, it, it's just a motor that turns. You know, what else do you want? The internals of the... More jelly over no, that's just the motor. That's just the motor, Looney. There's really nothing going on there. And then you plug it into a control box, and that's like the brain, right? So, yeah. He's back, wow. Hey, Pootie, thank you, buddy. Hey, Tiny Tootin, thank you, buddy. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, you know. The control box is the brain. So, yeah, we got, you know, it's good to have competition in the marketplace. And it seems like direct drive is definitely becoming a, um... I don't want to say it's becoming like the norm, but it's becoming the norm for, you know, high-end rigs for sure. I mean, it, if you got a high-end rig sitting at home and you don't have a direct drive wheel, it's like, it's not considered really high-end, you know? I mean, it's, it's the pinnacle of wheelbases. Now you can get crazy and be like, all right, well, yeah, what kind of, what kind of motors are running off of, you know? How strong is it, you know? How yeah, the there's heck? different quality options, different power outputs, but I reached for my volume level, but I don't have it. Someone like me though, someone like me would not benefit let's say I was in the market for a direct drive and I was looking at Fnatic and they got the DD1 and the DD2. There's no reason why me personally would get the dd2 it would just be overkill like especially for the type of force feedback i run you know but some people dude they run like really high force feedback <laughs> they're freaking you want to you want to want to get in a fight with one of these guys back in the back alley they're jacked bro Oh, he almost hit me. Okay, great. I probably should have pitted. Woo! Woo! I never really... Hey, Mike Mason. What's up, buddy? I never really liked, um... Multi-class racing with GTE and GT3. The, the speed difference isn't enough. You gotta be good. But yeah, I mean... Even the entry-level DD direct drive wheels... I mean, as long as they're using these motors, it's fucking... What else do you need, people? <laughs> this thing... I mean, I have this, I mean, look at, it, it's it's barely even trying. That, that's what's great is, it's probably running at like 20% of what it can actually do. Feels amazing, definitely feels amazing. It just gets you so more connected to the car. Like you know everything what's going on and you feel like you can control it much easier. And this is my very first race. Doing pretty good. It's not gonna, it's not gonna get you in first place. Although that'd be nice. I'd pay extra for that. I want an extra. Hey, Mike. I have like 40 pounds. Now that I went to Vegas, came back, I uh, gained some in the back. But now nah, we're good. Yeah, like 40 pounds in four months or whatever it was. 100%. No.
Yeah, if I had my Porsche rim on here, I'd feel way better, but I'm getting used to this rim. This is not an easy trip. This is actually, it's a good track to test out a wheel, you know? A lot of corners, a lot of elevation changes. Like when the car gets light, you can feel like it coming up over a crest. You feel it, you know? It's crazy. tried a Rick Motec. I've tried, definitely tried the DD1 and DD2, and then I tried an AccuForce, but very briefly. I tried the V2.5, which is close, is, is as close as you can get to a direct drive. I, I can't hit those cones. It gets stuck under my deal. Get right in the underbelly. It's throwing, chucking cones at me. It's very dangerous. You can get one stuck in your wheel well and slow you down. But, uh, yeah, it's not like I've, it's not like I own a direct drive and then I'm trying this one out. So. Woo! Shouldn't you be working or some shit? Hey, Paul, what's up, dude? Thanks for the three months. Rain day today. More like flood day. Hey! I think this guy's listening to the stream. He knows I don't like him hitting cones. <laughs> uh, he's a cone killer. Wanted for murder in the state of Ohio. Sorry I'm not reading very much chat. Catch that one. Come on, man. You can do it. Yay! I'm doing it. I was supposed to go zero X. Oh yeah, my incident levels are really low though. Direct crash. Set up buttons so I don't have to keep using the mouse. So, did Jesper die or is he okay or where's he at? Yeah, it's a loner, Adam. Test subject 41089. Yeah, it's an early version. They, they just let me try it out. Hey, Ray! He's chasing me. Thug Jack dropping eight months. Thank you, buddy. Woo, missed those cones. But it's nice, you know, especially that Fanatic's now shipping. It's nice to know there's a, um, other options on the market for people. Especially if people have had bad, uh, <coughs> people have had bad experiences with Fnatic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's about right. So, 
it's good to have uh, competition in the marketplace. No matter what those commies say. Hey, bread. Cheering me? Streaming again. Yeah, it feels good to be back. Had a week off, went to Vegas, started back working. Hey, 300. That's Champ Drives Cars. Thank you, buddy. timing dude that helps Woo! how was vegas ah uh, so much fun so much fun played a lot of craps it's really the only thing i did well at what really sam oh wait is that the reason i got mine no no vrs has lent me a early version of the VRS direct drive wheel. Oh no. Yeah, we played a lot of craps. That game is so much fun. If you don't know how to play craps and you go to Vegas, you're missing out. The hype is real. They were pretty good at giving us drinks, too, you know? Try to pick a craps table right next to the bar. Ah! Uh, hello. Dang it. That slows you down. Yeah, so where do we do most of our gambling? Hello really all there, over. Matt smiley face. How was Vegas? Hey, Furtive Live, what's up, buddy? Oh, we were just talking about it. It was a lot of fun, man. Well, we stayed at the link, so we, we probably did most of our gambling at the link just yeah. because. But, uh... You know, we'd walk over to the Flamingo a lot. Rolling Smoke, thank you for the sub, man. We walked over to the Flamingo a lot because it was super close. Uh, did a little bit in, like, Caesars. Did a little bit in that the Bellagio. What, what is... Oh, Harris. Harris. Harris Casino, we did a lot of gambling there because it was close. You know, it was a fun game that we played for a little bit. It was uh, three, no, uh, high, f what do they call it? High Flush? Flush. Is it just called Flush? It's like seven card flush? I'm just going to keep saying flush. It's a flush game. That was pretty cool. Because if you got like a straight flush, man, you'd rack, rack it in. Did I wake up a tiger in the bathroom? No. <laughs> no. High card flush, I think it's called. I don't know. Yeah, no, it was great. We played craps for hours and hours and hours. Samantha... One time Samantha rolled the dice, no kidding, for at least 30 minutes. 30 minutes, Samantha was just rolling, and we're just like, keep it going, baby. It was amazing. There was another guy we termed, uh, we gave him a nickname of um, DBH, and I don't remember what it stands for. It's called, like, um... No, JBH. Johnny, oh, Johnny Big Hands. We, we coined, we coined, oh my God. JBH became famous. We were playing craps, we're at one side of the table. And this towering man, oh, he was every bit a 6'5". Oh, a towering, booming man steps up. Starts playing craps with us. An absolute unit of a man. 
And he's standing at the opposite side of the table. And man, if if he if he didn't roll for 15, 20 minutes every time he got the dice, it was unbelievable. Johnny Big Hands, we named him. We were cheering, we were hooting. We were betting for each other. Like he gave me 20, like when I was rolling, I rolled pretty good for him. He was giving me money. I was placing bets for him. It was a, it was a relationship forged in the in the deep green felt at at Las Vegas, the likes of which have never been seen before. A relationship that would last on into the night. No. And then we're looking for him the rest of the weekend. Like, hey, is that JBH at the table? Oh man, now it's just some other tall guy. Echo Amber, thank you so much, man. Thank you for that. But, uh, yeah, JBH and, uh, Samantha probably tell a better story. He made us so much freaking money How's that the night. Wheel? Hey, the love taxi! Wheel's great. It's amazing. Oh, I got a pit soon. He made us so much money. It was crazy. So crazy. We got a picture. I don't know if Samantha tweeted it out. But we had a picture of Samantha holding a $1,000 chip. Because we made out so well that one night. And then I lost a lot of it the next day. <laughs> oh well. JBH was the bull. I couldn't believe it. That was the most fun we probably had. I mean, we were there for like two or three hours playing craps. Unbelievable. It's such a fun game. I was betting on all the hards. I'd go, give me all hard, stick man. And then the hard 10 would come up all the time. And that pays eight to one. So if you bet on the hard, meaning you can bet on a hard 10, meaning you're waiting for two five to come up. It has to be two five. Like you're throwing two dice. They both have to come up five. It can't be like a four and a six or, you know. A seven and a three. I mean, you can't have seven and three. <laughs> but it had to be a, you know, a, a hard throw of the dice. Which is very unlikely because there's only one way to do that, right? But man, if they weren't hitting. So whatever the point was, you know, usually I would just bet all hards. But if the hard, if the point is an eight, I would definitely put money down on the hard eight. Right? Because then if you, if that's rolled, you, you get paid like bunch it was a lot of fun we were getting pretty creative with the bets for sure and then we went to Fremont Street which is the old Vegas and we played one of their craps tables which this thing looked like it needed it needed to be thrown away this craps table was like totally completely worn out it was sad but there were some cowgirls that were like the dealers and they were girls dressed up really nice with you know, cowboy hats on and stuff. They're like little cowgirls. We're like, yeah, let's play here, you know? And it took like 10 minutes for us to lose all our money. We're like, we're freaking out of here. This place sucks. Let's go find JBH. Oh. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're boxing. Thank you. How much fuel, though? Uh -oh, I'll have to figure that out. Pitting in, pitting in. You can go a little bit faster than you usually would if you're taking the turn. Pit limiter. I just put in a little extra, it's fine. I'm doing pretty good in this race. Hey, Tommy. Yeah, it's going great, man. Who's this guy? It's Jasper Dr. Lincoln. No, no, it's not. It's uh, some Jeep. Oh, it's the leader of the GT3 cars. Jasper's right behind me. He must have pitted early. Uh-oh. All right, we got a race on our hands, folks. We got a race on our hands. Hey, Jeremy. Yeah, VRS. It's a VRS, Virtual Racing School direct drive wheel they're coming out with soon and they let they're letting me try it out it's my first race with it so just getting the feel for it it's amazing i tell you that 
like most direct drive wheels. Yeah, Vegas was so much fun, man. We gotta go back. Of course, we signed up for like a gold card. So then they track all your points. So I'd be, I'd be curious to know like how much stuff we could actually get comped on if we won a game, you know? It'd be interesting to know just based on one trip, how much you get back. Uh, tentatively about thousand dollars apparently U.S. But they haven't been released yet, so don't take don't take my word for it. All I know is that it's super competitively priced. All right, Jess Baroni. But yeah, this wheel is amazing. I should say the base. Are we calling it the base? This is the wheel. Or is this the rim? I think you could call it... It's a wheelbase. Yeah. I'm sorry. The rim is, um... You know, not as good as my Porsche rim, but... And it's much smaller. So I'm get, I'm probably getting used to that more than anything. Alright, Jess Brony, you want to race? No worries. You got it, buddy. Whoa! Oh! <sighs> Oh, the way it snaps like that feels amazing. It's much easier to catch it. Better put together some good laps here. It's not gonna be able to power through. <laughs> Jess Baroni, fix your driving line on that corner, please. Yeah, not really, DB. I've had a couple rain days. But I still have to, like, drive all the way to work and back. It's, I have to sit there for... If, we, if, like, we have a rain day, there's no work. I drive there. I sit there for two hours. And then I get to go home, and I get paid for two hours. That's happened the last two days. Yesterday... Uh, I didn't work, so I set this uh, wheelbase up and stuff. Which, I mean, technically I probably could have streamed yesterday, but... I was a little tired. Yes? He wants my blood? Yeah. This force feedback's a little strong. Could back it off some. Oh! I thought he was done. Oh my god, he just crashed! Was he trying to mess around and then he crashed? Can we get some Fs in the chat? What's wrong with you, Jesperoni? What is wrong with you? Is he streaming right now? And the direct drive. See, if he had a direct drive wheel, that wouldn't have happened. If he had a VRS direct drive wheel. It definitely wouldn't have happened. <laughs> Oops. I was looking at my relative. I don't know if we can catch Mark here. Probably not. Hey, I'm in eighth place with the number eight car. And at mid-Ohio, it's not the e easiest track. It's a fun track. But it is not easy. Hey, Nighty. Get the car slowed down in yes. this area. Even, I, I just dropped like a quarter tire off the track. Before I turned in there on turn one, I felt it. Felt it. That's what you're looking for in a, in a wheel, is the detail. You're not looking for it to break your arms and break your wrist. 
you just want to feel everything because there's no g-forces mr banksy thank you buddy you know something's got to be got to make up for the fact that you're not getting g-forces on your ass you know what i'm saying you can't feel anything with your body it needs to all most of it needs to all come through the wheel i mean you got your visual aspect which is huge part of sim racing well part of each really can't race when you're blind but i mean visually you can see what's going on and that's what the triple monitors help with and after that you do, you gotta feel it and it's all all that information's got to come through the wheel all right white flag hey we did pretty good ass force yeah you want some ass force All that detail and still only eight. Hey man, for like no practice, we had a couple moments there where I had to catch the car. One time I didn't. The car feels great. Wheel, the, like I can feel the car. Cause I, I'm not a direct drive. It's not like I've owned a direct drive wheel for a, you know, two years. And I'm like, you know, so this is like all new to me. So I'm just, I'm still figuring it all out, you know? I'm just trying to come up with certain descriptive words to try to convey it to you guys. It's not easy. Definitely does not feel like a toy. I'll tell you that much. Even with this rim. I've gotten used to the rim, I think. So the force feedback. In the software of the actual wheel, I have it set to 80%. And then in iRacing, right now, I have it set to... Hey, the race is over. I did great. I have it set to 84 Newton meters. Which is kind of low. I'd go much. I'd go lower. At least two more clicks lower, usually. Um, but I just wanted to keep it up there a little higher this time. And it's, it's doable. I'm not tired or anything it's just you're really kind of fighting the wheel a little bit more than what you would you'd want to especially it depends on how much you race if you have like one big event you know one major event for your day and you really want the full immersion you know turn it up and that's the thing with direct drive wheels and this thing is that you can turn it up as much as you want it's not gonna max it out you're not gonna experience clipping i mean that's the that's that's the biggest benefit and you're still getting all that detail. It's not mushy. But like I say, these, these are just super initial thoughts, you know? Super initial, first race. Um, you know, it's going to be a couple weeks before I really um, can form a, a, a decent opinion on it. And I'll make a YouTube video and stuff about it. I guess it's going to be very competitively priced, around $1,000 when it comes out. Uh, I don't know, T killed. It's a good question. <laughs> hey, Norway, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Uh, I don't have the button set up so I can go to next incident and previous incident. Can do that. Hey, Showtime, Ooh. thank you for the 42 months, man. I appreciate it. So if you ever wanted to know how to go to the next incident and previous incident in a race uh, while you're watching the um, Watching the replay, uh, go down to replay settings, and it's in here somewhere. Here it is. Next incident. You just set a button for it. So then when you're watching the replay, you just push a button, and it goes to the next incident. Oh, that's a button, too. Oh, that one pushes in. You can see that. Oh, yeah. I'm using my dial. It's probably not the best. How much is the Fnatic one? Oh, it's at least a 1,000. 1,000 for DD1, 1,500 for DD2, yeah. The Audi. Oh, no, is this Jess Baroni? Oh, no, that's Jess Baroni behind him. Oh, well, you, yeah, it's seaweed. I could put it anywhere, but... Yeah, champ, that's another good one on the market. Oh, 
Oh, really, Black Mesa? Yeah. Here goes Jesper, Dr. Licka. He's doing great. Isn't AccuForce the one that has, like, that massive control box? And it has all that crazy software you gotta dick around with? It's not for me. Oh, yeah, Furtive. I'll be doing the NIS later, too. The DD2 has a five-year warranty on just the motor. Probably, yeah. Hey, Tomiters. Yeah, man. DD1 comes with it. It's probably a limited warranty. But yeah, no, that's that's good peace of mind, you know? That's really good. Haven't really figured it out yet, though, Jack. Um, yeah. Late afternoons. All right, we down here. You want to look at results? Where's Jesperoni? I want to see him screw up on the straightaway. Where is he? Oh. Oh, he got on the grass. Oh, I didn't see him on the grass. Huh. <laughs> I thought he was just swerving to have fun, but, and then he died. There you go. Let's take a look at the results really quick. Ah, Norway! 53 DD Wii. DD, 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 what? Uh, no, hey, <laughs> why don't we use the VRS one? Let's go deep into the data, brought to you by Virtual Racing School. Not sponsored. Matt Malone, plus four I rating, plus 0. 0.31 safety rating. Pretty good, huh? Thank you. So there you have it, my very first ever full on race with a direct drive wheel. And I did about as well as I would normally do, I'd say. For sure, right? Hey, Horton. So there you have it. Much more to come, though. Seriously, for the... Uh, I'll do a full YouTube review video for it. Give you all the details. And uh, my experience with it. Um, so stay tuned. 